Hey YouTube, it's Cello Ben, and it's time for day 45 of the 100 days of practice. So tonight I'm going to do something a little different, which is uh, I have some stuff where I have a relatively luxurious amount of time to get it all under my fingers, meaning that I have an entire day tomorrow as well. Um, so I don't have to cram, so what I'm going to do is, um, since I've played a bunch of this stuff before and I've already perused it away from the cello, and I know that I won't have too many problems, uh, what I'm going to do is go through some of it right now and basically just do a blitz through several different pieces to figure out what it is that's going to need most of my attention tomorrow. And so then, well, and tonight, and so then I can go tomorrow, uh, tonight and tomorrow and look at those spots first, get them really nailed down, and then go back and take a broader look and see if there's anything else that I need to revisit. For me, I, I don't know if it's like this for everybody, but for me, it's one of the most helpful ways of practicing when you have a large amount of things to learn. So, first thing is Duca, Sorcerer's Apprentice. So that's the spot to mark off. Generally with these kinds of things, I just go on my iPad and I mark them off in red. And that shows me, I, I put a red X by it and that shows me, hey, this is something I gotta look at. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, that's not bad. Um, in-between passage, or at least what I just decided a few seconds ago to call an in-between passage. It's one where when you're looking at it on the page, you can't quite tell if it's going to be easy or difficult on the cello, and you can't tell how much you're going to have to put into it until you try it. So this I'm going to need to put a little bit extra time into. So in front of it goes another red X. Now here's something I can already tell we'll need one, but it's relatively similar and I'm not gonna waste your time with it right now. Ah. get through as much of this blitz as I had hoped. around this area here. And another one here that I know I'm gonna need.
another quick red X there, and I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna check just to see if there's a, there's one more passage in here that's gonna need my attention. And granted, these are just the things that I'm marking as things that I need to look at first. I'm going to go through the entirety of these pieces. That's the only way to really be professional about it. But I want to mark the things that are going to be the hardest first. Next comes Mars from the planets. First page I can tell will be no problem. Second page I can tell there will be a problem. That's going to be a major woodshedding spot. Red X. And then a parallel spot at the end of the movement. Another big red X. And that's it for Mars. Let's try the Sassons Danse Macabre. Let's see. Yum. Oh, well, isn't this convenient? There is a super, uh, there's a thorny looking passage in here but it's cut from the particular performance I'm doing. Okay, that's gonna be fine. And then... spot that warrants a look later. Again, that war sorry, that warrants an early look later. And one more piece for now, which is Baba Yaga from uh, the Ravel orchestration of uh, Mazorsky Pictures in an exhibition. I've played this recently, so it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> thing at the end going into the coda. So this was a very rough session, but um, it was designed that way. This is um, the sort of beginning of my work on this music, because after I, um, um, sorry, after I have figured out what the hardest spots are probably going to be for me, then I can work on those first, solidify them, and then go back and vis revisit each piece globally and make sure that everything is good to go. For me, this makes it a little bit less stressful of an experience, and it might do the same for you. I'm off to do some practicing, uh, but I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs>